Hey there, my name is Tommy Dobbs and today we're going to be talking about the triangle. We're going to start by discussing how to hold the triangle and how to hold the beater. Then we'll dive into playing positions on the instrument, then muffling and muting, and finally the roll. Let's now talk about how to hold the clip. The first thing I do is I take my non-dominant hand and I take these three fingers, the middle, ring, and pinky, put them together and create a V in between these three fingers and the index. Take the nose of the clip, put it between there, close down, and let the back of the clip rest on the thumb. And here's what it would actually look like with the triangle on the clip. Let's talk now about how to hold the beater. When it comes to learning new techniques and new instruments, I try not to reinvent the wheel. So for this one, I refer back to how I teach snare drum grip. We're going to take the beater, and with our dominant hand, we're going to lay the shaft of the beater over the first joint areas of our fingers here. Specifically, we want to focus on the index finger first joint. Then I'm going to take the fingerprint of my thumb, and I'm going to place it on top of the shaft like so. And if I was to stick a needle through the tip of my thumb, it would go through the nail, the thumb, the shaft of the beater, and the first joint of my index finger. Now the other fingers here, they just wrap around like so for support. And I strike the triangle just like I would snare drum. It's mostly wrist. Let's talk now about playing positions on the triangle. There's no set place for you to play. The entire instrument is fair game. However, there's some general areas that people do prefer to play. Let's talk about those. First one will be this bottom arm right in the center. There's also bottom arm over to the right side. And I'll call this the right arm. It's really all about experimenting. So I would say the sounds, the areas that you decide to choose should be all based off the ensembles you're playing with. Muffling or muting the triangle can be a lot of fun because now we can match the note links of those instruments around us. And for me, there's three main ways that I do it. And they have to do with these three fingers here. To taper or muffle out the sound, I can activate my pinky first, then my ring, then my middle finger, slowly getting rid of different overtones until the sound is completely out. Let me show you. And if it's a quick muffle or a mute, I simply lean my hand forward. And then all three fingers muffle almost immediately. There's just a couple tips for you. Either way, give it a shot and see if you can match the note links of those around you. Let's now talk about the roll. But before I dive into my long roll exercises and my metered roll exercises, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to prep the roll. The first thing you want to do is put the beater in between the bottom and top arm. And you need to pick a side. Either you're going to start up or you're going to start down. But there's no prep involved. It's just right in the middle and go down, right in the middle, or go up. 